Please be warned. Today's story contains thrills. Oh! No! Electric excitement. <laughs> Let's go, Claude! Woo! The most intense gameplay you have ever seen. Ah! This is a no holds barred, adrenaline filled roller coaster of emotions that is unrelenting in its exceptional action packed story. I wish I could tell you that our story started in a warm, cozy castle, eating an overly milky bowl of cereal, but alas, it does not. I wish I could tell you there was lots of explosions in this episode, but alas, there is not. Instead, the story that I am telling you today begins out in the cold, dark night. I know what you're thinking. Why are you sat so low, low down in your little box? What's this? It's currently 10 degrees Celsius in my flat. I have no idea what that is in um, Fahrenheit language. It's very cold. Yes, I'm speaking to my landlord about it. It's, um, it's not very hot. It's not very hot. Do you know what is hot? People that subscribe. Butch! Oh, you, you can't put a call to action this early on in the video. I, I've not even seen any of the video and you're already asking me to subscribe. I do what I want. I do what I want. And when I say 85% of you aren't subscribed, but Butch, how do I know if the video is going to be good? Trust me. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. I have a funky feeling that that is yellow rather than red so without even really thinking about things where the where's ryan oh how do you get over there but i'm really thinking about things we're gonna go on a flight over there and see if that is a yellow one now i should let you know of a couple of things i've done a couple of things to the game um first and foremost i have massively increase the taming multiplier okay now say what you want in my opinion as a solo arc player it isn't much fun waiting around listening to a dino breathe mm -hmm. i know i know and so I, I read a comment that said butch you might want to put the harvest multiplier up some of the biggest dinos in the game the highest level dinos in the game can take now, I don't know if they're exaggerating here. 12 real life hours. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not doing any of that. So, I'll put the tame. I don't care. Shout at me. I have a life. I don't want to be. I'd rather be going around exploring than stood there listening to a breathing dino. And the second thing that I did, what did I do? <gasps> I've uh, max difficulty. People, a lot of people, and I noticed this even from the first episode, but a lot of people were like, you need to put up the max difficulty so that max difficulty basically, uh, I think, increases the spawn, the highest spawn, highest level for dino spawn at 150. Look at us. Playing at max difficulty. We had been making some good progression in recent times and I anticipate that this will only continue as we move forward. The beam of light that we were going to was in fact white and not yellow, so we didn't find it worth our time to stop and loot it. And I'm glad we didn't, otherwise we would have missed this beautiful sunrise. Oh, oh let's, ride it. let's ride into the sunrise, ride into the sunrise. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Come on! Wait. Oh, I thought that was a yellow one. It's not. It's a white with the sun in the background. Um, This isn't me trying to get a sympathy sub. I've got a cold. Um, what? Oh, what am I doing? Oh! Were they icebergs? No, they're not. They're just rocks. Oh my god, they're tingles. The tingles that that gives me in places that you don't want to tingle. 
<laughs> no. What would you say? Oh, God, look at that hole. Imagine, imagine, like, you were just, like, paddling, and then you stepped in that hole. No. No, 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 no. Anyway, what was I saying? I I'm coming down with something. I'm coming down with something quite badly. Uh, I've got a bit of a blocked nose, and I'm a bit fevery. Maybe it's not 10 degrees in my flat. Maybe I, I'm just cold. Uh, I'm very... I apologise if I'm a bit more nasally than normal. Or if I'm like... Or you see me do that a lot. I know. It's disgusting. Sub to me. I'm ill. It'll make me feel better. I feel like we kind of have to go for this one. Maybe we just go all the way up to the north of the island. I don't really have too much of a plan today, folks. I, I think all of the plans have gone out the window. We're just enjoying flying around with on Ryan at the moment. Um, I, I'm not very well geared. Well, I'm not geared at all, really, at the moment. But maybe let's just go on and explore and then i don't know i don't i don't Whoa! i don't know how to like progress in the game hold on let me get this and i'll expand on that what do we got oh a spyglass uh i'll take the spark powder i'll take the fish i guess um i don't know how to progress in the game in the sense of where do you go? What's the objective? I'm going to fly over the island just because I can. We've been to this island before, but I just want to see what it looks like when we fly over it. And then we will maybe go get that blue one if I feel like it a little bit later. But yeah, so I don't really know. So we, I, I mean, maybe the, maybe the green obelisk. Maybe we'll go and have a look at that today. But my biggest problem is I really enjoy flying everywhere because I feel, I feel like it's safer. However, I can't really carry much when I'm on Ryan because he's weak. So I can't really fly. So... Uh, I'm kind of feel like I'll have to go out on a dino then on foot, but that never ends well. Do you see my predicament? The thing about predicaments is that they're long and boring. So I like to avoid them and put them off at all costs. So instead, we did a little flyby of the small island that we had been to just to soak in the views. I didn't need to worry about how I was going to traverse the island. That was future Butch's problem. Once we had seen enough of this beautiful island, we headed back in the direction of the mainland, hoping to catch the blue supply drop we had seen on the way in. What, what do you, what, what would you say to a little adventure just around the coast this way? I think so, because we're on day 17. 17 are we making good progress for 17 probably not probably not because what i will say no i don't recommend this i'll say it now don't use creators business yeah keyword there business email address to write them a very lengthy email that i'm playing the game too slow and i should hurry up Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, I admire the effort, but it's wasted. It's wasted. I feel like... I feel like... Yeah, I, I, I want to speed things up a little bit, but... At the same time, I'm like, meh. What's the rush? I'm not going anywhere. The channel ain't going anywhere. There's no rush. And listen, if you get bored, come back in 10 episodes time. Maybe I'll have made some progress then. But for now, we're keeping it easy. Keeping it easy ozy, baby. Easy ozy, baby. Hey, listen. If you keep things easy ozy, you have the time to appreciate things like this tree. But, oh, look at this tree. Oh. Are the trees random or is that like the same on every single one? Because that is one of the most aesthetic trees I think I've ever seen. Maybe it's not the tree in itself that is aesthetic, that is aesthetic, but maybe it's like the general package. Look at the way that it's just lingering off there. I enjoy that. Sometimes you stop and smell the roses. Other times you stop and look at a tree. But trust me, life looks a lot better when you go slower. But you're not here to watch me go slower, are you? You're here to watch me succeed or suffer. There is no in-between with you lot. So instead, we decided to head towards the biggest point of interest in our skyline. I could go have a look at the green obelisk, couldn't I? I feel like maybe that would be the sensible thing to do, potentially. 
The, oh, I just, this is, this is, I could do this all day, just fly about. Look at light shafts. Oh my god. That looks beefier, doesn't it? Listen to its wings. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, we're not friends? We're not friends? I don't think we're... I don't, I don't think we're friends. What was that about? Okay, all right. Maybe, maybe we're not as safe as we think we are. On it in the skies. Oh, look, they're all like viney trees there. Oh! oh! That! Look at that rock. That's, um... That's actually pride rock from... Lion King. Something's here. I can hear something beating in my ear. Whoa. Underneath me there, look. But it sounds like it's right to my left. Look at this. Look at this. The waterfall, man. What the f... What is that? you see that? Oh. oh, wait. Oh, my God. That is a crocodile alligator. A, a Sarko? Holy. That is... What is that thing? That's like a fireball. What? Is that a newt? Oh. Oh, my God. What's going on? There's like three different... Am I safe here? Oh my god. Yeah, look. There's big Sarko, whatever that is. And there looks to be another kind of alligator in there. Oh my god. Is that a frog? Is that a frog over there? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh, sometimes the turning circle on this isn't so great. Oh my god. God. Look, there's a frog underneath me. Two frogs. And a titan boa. Oh my god, our stamina's nearly out. Holy right, get up here. Get up here. Absolutely, categorically. Do not land near that river. Well, damn. Ah, that's a snake. Ah, shit. Okay, we don't like this place. The waterfall lured us in. I really don't like this. Any, anywhere swampy we've been has been shit. We are approaching an obelisk. This deserves the respect to at least... Bring myself to an upright position. Get higher up in my box. Hello. And go. We had already visited the Red Obelisk and left relatively unscathed. Even though it was likely to be safe, we still felt on edge. This place had such an alien feeling to it, like it wasn't meant to be understood. And I don't trust things I don't understand. That's probably why I don't trust girls or maths. Is it safe? Is it safe? There's a little ball of something. Is, looks like where the energy's coming from. Huh. Green. Stay where... Stay where you are. Okay. Generate Broodmother Gamma Portal. 
beta portal, an alpha. You need artifacts. I don't have any artifacts. So this is similar to the red one in the sense that you need to be putting in artifacts, whatever they are, into there to get you something. Where do I get out? I'm so, this is like, I don't understand. Where do we get them from? Alas, yet again, we had seeked answers, but left with more questions. We didn't know what the artifacts were, where they were, when we would find them or how we would find them. All that we knew was what to do with them when we had them. Brain fizzing with questions. We left the green obelisk and returned back home. Here, we decided to come up with a bit of a plan. Okay. Okay. Right, let's get serious. Max difficulty's gone up, right? So, the max... As far as I understand, the max level that we're going to encounter wild dinos is 150 brian is only level 22 that's not good i'm wondering if we try and level up brian a wee bit by just taking him out and getting him to kill everything i don't know what the like the best dino for like traversing is i know what the coolest dino is brian what you know what why am i even asking you it's not about meta Ain't about efficiency. It's about taking the coolest dino, which in our case is Brian. Right, we're going to switch these over. Um, we're going to put that in there. I want to get that in there. Fantastic. I will save you from this Muppet's incoherent waffling as he tries to fill the void when doing the boring inventory management. The plan was simple. Take Brian out for a spin and let him kill things. The more we murdered, the more we would level up. There was a bit of a problem, though. I just feel so guilty about, like, killing anything. And I've never, I've never killed one of these. Should I do it? No, I can't, I can't, I can't. Look at him. He's just minding his own business, huh? Morality. That would always be a stumbling block. We usually got attacked by bad things in the trees. So in the trees, we went. Oh, if anything in here even tries. <laughs> Look at me just prowling through the woods. All sneaky, sneaky. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex's, like, prime habitat, no? This is always here. Every time I come through here, there must be, like, specific points that they spawn. I suppose there may be so they don't spawn them, like, randomly on the map in places that you can't really reach. What do we have here? Cooking pot. That. Nah, nothing really for us there. A stegosaurus. Ah, oh, I don't want to kill a stegosaurus. They're awesome. Oh, that's what we want. Come here, bitch. Although morality was an issue, in stark juxtaposition to this, it appeared that killing cleared my mind, as a thought started to mature in my mind. That feather thing gave me a run for the money. I'm wondering if that would be more nimble than a Rex. I kind of want to... All that I'm thinking, right, is... is, is um. Obviously, that is brilliant and all. Would he fit in a cave? Would one of the feathered things fit in a cave? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? The cave. That goddamn cave. Although we weren't ready to return there after the horrific events that had taken place, we did have one synapse working away in the background, preparing for our eventual return. And what better way than a dangerous dinosaur? Knowing that the feathered birds usually clung to the coastline, we headed in that direction.
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait. Can molars be used? I'm not close enough. Shit, if I try and I could try and sneak up on this. Oh, I don't like right. I just wanna see Wait, what level is he? Ten. Maybe maybe that's a good one. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Whoa, whoa, no, the dog went towards me. Oh shit. No. Okay, right. What if it's only level ten? Its health can't be that high, right? Bitch! No, oh, I nearly did. Then this is a mistake, right? But then again, fuck it. Yolo. Oh shit! Oh. Fight, 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 fight. We'll dick this. It's only level 10. It's only level 10. It's only level 10. It's only level 10. Yes. But fucking power. That didn't even touch me. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. You know, he ate him. Oh, I wanted to hack him up. That would be way more dramatic. Okay. Um, Can't bowler him, though. It's going to be quite hard to get one of them if we can't bowler them. So the bowler, the bowler things must just work for smaller dinos then. In which case, how do we trap one of them? That was the question that we needed an answer to. In times of need, I often think back to the famous X-Men quote that Batman once said, with great power comes great knowledge. The source of our knowledge was engrams. After sifting through the list for a short while, we found something. Oh. Large bear trap. Immobilizes large creatures only. That could work, no? Potent dart of tranquilizing poison. Use with a long neck. Okay, let me learn that. That would be cool. C4 detonator. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. That That's what we needed. The Therinzor vault. Right, okay. So, scuba stuff. I swear to god, if the game makes me go down somewhere deep. Wanting to put the thought of diving deep into the ocean well behind us, we search for the rifle used to shoot the trank darts. What was that rifle? Long necked rifle. We could do this, you know. The simple single shot rifle is highly accurate, has a long reload time. YOLO. 95 metal ingots. Right. We need some more metal, and then we're going to craft the long neck rifle, the trank dart, and the large bear trap. That's what we're doing. Wh where do we get metal again? Dino was ready to leave the primitive technology behind and replace it with some actual firearms. But to do this, and to get the large bear trap, we were going to need some more metal. So, off we popped back into the tree line in search for the shiny rocks. We managed to find a couple more boulders that we extracted the metal from, but the problem is, metal is heavy. So we decided it might be best to head back and drop our load off. I tell you what we'll do. We've got a little bit of metal there. Let's head back and kind of establish where we're at in terms of how much metal that we have. And then we can drop everything off. And then we'll go out on a on a like a, a proper, proper run for some more metal if we need it. I don't think we have a huge amount of metal back. I think we use most of our metal. I think we use most of it. And I can't I think we need like quite a bit, like 150 ingots maybe. So let's go back. Oh, we might even take um Derek, you know, he Oh no, oh no. I mean, we, we could do this, right? If I save the game. How many hits do you reckon it's going to take to knock it out? YOLO! Miss. Oh, 
Right, knock it out. Don't attack it. Don't attack it. Shit. Oh. Okay, no, just kill it. Yes. Just kill him. 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 Oh god, he's not dying. Why are you not dying? We're fine. We're fine. Loads of health. Loads of health. Loads of health. Okay, we are much, much stronger than where we were. I am also overheating quite considerably. So let's let's take them off, shall we? Brian was showing some serious strength now. He was dispatching the angry feathered birds like a knife to butter. We stomped our way home to drop off the metal and figure out the next steps. <laughs> oh god, so bad at this game. Right, here we go. That's the bear trap. That's the large bear trap. So that's 78 metal ingots. And then what we're, we're also wanting that, which is 95. We had some metal ingots left over from our previous adventure. So while we waited for the metal ore that we did have smelting away in the forge, we headed back out in search for more. Here he is. Here he is. Oh, it's been a minute since we've been on an adventure. Right. Think we're going to need all of that. So that's going to get thrown on. Uh, and then where where do we head? I think we head up towards like we know there's metal here up along these this bit here towards the green and we'll kind of see what happens there. I think that's the best that we do. So uh, we just want to make as much space as possible. We had absolutely taken for granted just how fast Derek was. This guy had some speed. Yeah, he doesn't lose stamina when um, when you sprint. I think that's maybe like his special ability. Running faster than you guys did to the comments after I used an axe to get thatched from a tree, we managed to easily find some metal and stock up on as much as we could. It really goes to show how much Dino had progressed in this. Throwback to being excited about getting enough wood to build a door frame. We were now easily collecting metal to build weapons and traps. All right. Okay, save the game. That was relatively successful, I think. Uh, we've got ourselves 146 pieces of metal. 146. So now all we need to do is wait for the metal to smelt. Bear trap, the rifle, the bullet, trank. Bullet. Dart. That's what I meant. Dart. That's all we need. And then... Then we go out and find ourselves um, the uh, the thing. The, I, don't, I don't know what we call them. The, the thing with the claws. If I'm being real, I just don't want to embarrass myself by absolutely butchering the pronunciation of the dino's name. But regardless, we threw the rest of the metal in the forge with the rest of the ingots. Whilst we did that, we realized we would also need to make some gunpowder for the bullets. Oh, gunpowder. While that's going, we'll make the gunpowder. Um, how do we make the gunpowder then? We, uh, oh, oh wait, that's cement. Uh, oh, charcoal and spark powder. Oh, nice. Yeah, we can do that. Let's make loads. 91, is that too much? That'll be fine. All right, we'll get them on the go. Um, I'm excited to see this rifle. I don't know how good the rifle is going to be. In my, I think, if I'm going to use my intuition... Won't be better than this. An Ascendant Crossbow. Surely a basic rifle isn't going to be better than an Ascendant Crossbow. I don't know. Hopefully I'll be pleasantly surprised. But um, we'll see how we get on with that. And then we can do that. So then we also need the bear trap in here. So this large one. Oh, we can make this one now, actually. Should we make this one now? I don't know why you would need a fiber for bear trap. I suppose rope. Right. Really hope that that now I can't. Is there a bait system in this? Like, can I make some bait or something? Which, uh, mm, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, some smelly meat that I can put out and then something comes towards it. I don't know. What are the traps? Tripwire narcotic. I place two of these nearby to the trigger. Poisonous trap, however. Okay, so that, you can't tame things from that. And I want to tame things from that. That's like a defensive thing, that, isn't it? Okay, right, well, all we're going to do is we're going to wait for these to get done. 
So, let's wait. We'll wait. We'll wait, and I can try and relax. It's quite peaceful, this, isn't it? I wonder if I could fall asleep. I probably could. I really tried. Yeah, let's not do that. I need to wake up. Brrr. The warmth was so nice. This castle so secure that I couldn't help but grab myself some cereal as we waited for this metal to smelt. It's really easy to get distracted by the big, massive dinosaurs, the sunrises and sunsets, the unknown horizons to explore. Sometimes you just have to stop and enjoy the little things, like sitting in front of a warm fire, sheltered by the walls that you built enjoying a bowl of honey nut clusters life moves fast man it doesn't mean you have to oh i'm very sorry for eating in your ear Oh, it's all very... Should I put big fire on? Hold up. Let me put big fire on. Put all my, oh, I just put all of my lights on, actually, shouldn't I? All of the lights. Oh, let's get it proper cosy. We've not spent much time here. I feel like we, we spent the longest time just being here, but for, you know episodes and episodes on end and then we've just kind of outgrown it it's kind of like you know as you get better at the game you just start spending you know more time out and about than, than here so yeah i do feel kind of guilty i miss this place it's better isn't it that's so good <laughs> It's so cold in my teeth, though. Oh. Oh, it really cold in my teeth. I, I, I need to... I, I need to... My front teeth is like a... A dam, a colander, a sieve. To catch all of the bits. So I could swallow my uh, milk without chewing. Truly think. The cereal is up there. Top three best foods in the world. It is a meal as well. Breakfast is breakfast is king. All right, I'm gonna put this down here now. Oh, oh I'll tell you what. I feel a lot more refreshed now. I was getting a little bit sleepy because I'm not very well. I was getting a bit sleepy. And now I'm feeling good to go. I feel alive. I feel like I can take on the world. What better way to wake up than inspecting the long-necked rifle that we had just built? Oh. Oh, look at the way that glistens in the... Again, why would I need my crosshair... And iron sights. Wow. Now that we had built the rifle, we also built the trunk darts. Fuck yes. Right, and now we want to build a potent dart. What is the difference between a trunk arrow and a tranquilizer dart? I'd hoped that the tranquilizer dart was more effective just because it seems to be more of a pain in the ass to make. We made three trank arrows and with that had everything that we needed. Large bear trap, rifle and trank darts. The only part that was missing was the feathered dino. But that was about to change. There we are. We found one, boys and girls. 
Oh shit, right, okay, let's get ready. Let's get ready. Uh, bow and arrow. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep... Keep Derek back a little bit. I'm actually kind of nervous. Wait, what level is he? What level is he? Level five? Really? Fuck. Right. Well, I guess this can be a trial run then. We're going to get up closer. Listen, we'll, 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 we'll go for it. We'll try and tame it. It'll still be useful for us. Okay. And it's only level five, so I'm going to put it here. Okay. Why is that taking so long? Why is that taking so long? Why is that taking so long? Do I need to, do I need to physically? Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. And then what we're going to do here <laughs> is the really risky bit. Get the drunk arrow. <laughs> hey, go get me, you chicken bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. That's it. Come to me. Come to me. Oh! And then I can just keep hitting it. Yes! Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Please. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Derek! No! No! Uh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, no, we're okay. Just a little glitch. Just a little glitch. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, this, this. This could be a lot harder than I thought. Oh, my God. That is not giving up, is it? No, it is. We had made the grave mistake of underestimating this dino. Whilst it was only level five, this thing did not want to go to sleep. More than that, it was angry. The bear trap had released the dino far earlier than I thought, and my plan B of running away on Derek wasn't even working too well. This dino was fast. If I can't tame a level five, this thing did not want to go down. It was absolutely relentless. Arrow after arrow speared into the dino's body, but yet it still charged. Yes, because I am bad at the game and panic far too easily, I had forgotten about the gun. But regardless, we didn't even seem to be wounding the creature. It was clear that this feathered mutant would rather die than be taken captive and was going to fight until its very last breath. Oh, it's unconscious, it's unconscious. My bow broke, it's unconscious. Get off, get off, get off. Kill, kill this, kill this, kill this. Quick, 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 quick. Holy shit. We need meat, we need meat, we need meat. Give me a meat, give me a meat. Save the game. Oh my god, it's out, it's out, it's out. Right, everything is broken. Put that in there. Right, the taming. Put food in inventory. If it says put food in inventory, that means that it isn't being tamed currently. So what do I need to put in? It's a herbivore, is it? Okay, we, uh, we need to put these in, these medjew berries. So if I take all of that stuff out there. There we go. There we go. Then the, then the taming's going to go up. The taming's going to go up. I will literally take this level 5 up to level 173 because there's there's no way that I'm going to be able to get another one, is there? There's no way. Look how much damage it did. It nearly damn near blew up my PC as well. Holy. So I learned that if it says the taming 0, 0.0, the food that it that's in its inventory is the one that you need to tame it. If it doesn't say that, it's not. I don't want to accidentally. Whoa. 
I had a genuine adrenaline rush when fighting this beast, and now I had momentarily incapacitated it, I was starting to think a bit more clearly. We needed to stand guard and ensure that absolutely nothing would harm this creature. I had gone to so much effort in knocking it out that I wasn't sure I would emotionally recover from any accidents. So, vigilantly, we stood guard, monitoring the coastline for anything that might cause harm. All the while, we would watch for the dino's levels of unconsciousness, and if needed, force feed it narco berries if it dropped too low. All we had to do was wait. Look at the size of these claws, though. What is that? Stay back. I'm not mate. I'm not taking any chances here. Stay back. You know what? Don't make me do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 24. 20. My crossbow is 10 times better than that must have been. Wait. Could that have been because this is armored? Maybe. Listen, I know he. I know he was innocent, but I. I've worked too fucking hard to let anything come close to this. Oh, we need to think about what we're going to call it. Mightily disappointed at the lack of damage caused by the rifle, but happy that nothing had got too close. The clock ticked by as the taming me to grew ever closer to one hundred. Yes! Oh, I might drown. Uh, uh. Claude, get it? Oh, 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 oh. Hi, Cl Claude, Claude, get it? Right. Okay. We're not taking any. Oh my god throw the saddle on you are you ready to ride whatever one of these is for the first time in three in two in one <laughs> right you follow me okay god he, he's a lot chunkier isn't he you don't realize how much bigger he is until he starts riding him oh and then he's like that's class that is class he isn't as fast as as uh, Derek. The more the more the more dinos that I've encountered, and tamed and ridden, road ridden road, the more I real. Yes, the more I realise just how good Derek is at um at like travelling. I think he might be the travel dino. Oh god, my, he's gassed, he's gassed, right. Uh, first things first, health. Only thing that's going up on... <laughs> Is that jazz hands? I think we just got some jazz hands. The first thing yeah, that's going up is, is health. Um, speaking of health, I really need to eat. We took Claude, the newest member of our ever-growing family, and immediately knew that we wanted to level him up so he would be capable to return to the cave with me. We went back home to drop off all of the heavy stuff and to talk about the gun that we had just made. Right, the gun. Very, very disappointed with the gun, though. Um, there must be something more to it. Maybe I've just... Maybe I don't realise how lucky I am getting the Ascended. Ascendant crossbow. Maybe I really don't. Yeah, that, that's probably what it is, isn't it? Because that was shit. 20, 24 damage. You are having a giggle, mate, with that. That's outrageously wank. There was absolutely no hanging about, and we jumped straight back on Claude. I'm thinking health and melee are going to be by far the best ones for me to use. I wonder if all these dinosaurs could actually swim or whether they've just put this in the game for one of the convenience quality of life things so you don't accidentally drown a dinosaur. Claude. Oh, I'm so happy with that name, Claude. I think that is poetry in motion. I think that's a hilarious pun. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's, oh I love the patterns as well. Yeah. Wait, where'd he go? Come here, bitch. Oh, 
just like that. I know the other Raptor's friendly, but listen, I need to get experience from somewhere. Look at the pattern on his back. I genuinely think he might... I want to say, no, Hedwig will always, always be my favourite. But, um, Claude is a close, close second, I think. I was really happy with Claude. It felt extra special because we had to work so hard to get him. Sure, it was awesome having Brian, but to tame him, we had third-partied his mum as she battled a long-necked lizard. The same with Steve, we had tamed him from a baby. So I really felt like I had earned Claude. And I have to say, we hit it off straight away. Wait, can dinos go on rafts? Is that a thing? No way. He's on it. Whoa, save the game. Deal. Here's a deal. If anything bad happens and he falls off in this, I'm restarting. Deal? Never mind, I've just beached, man. Apparently this can't go backwards. <laughs> we We can actually take him. Oh wow. Look at this. Oh, let's go, Claude. Woo. Ooh, get me across now. Look, just deposit him there. Hop off. And then I need to jump on Claude. Nice. That was awesome. As Claude was such a low level, he was leveling up left, right and centre and I was having a blast killing every little compi and dilf in sight. Whilst we were in this neck of the woods, we remembered that we had stored a Maftercrass Raptor saddle in a storage box on the other side of the bay. Being so close to it, it was stupid not to go and pick it up, so that's exactly what we did. I could look at trying to cross here. Oh, do you remember? Do you remember? Look. My storage stuff. I could go and get that. I mean, I don't have a huge amount of weight. But we'll give it a, we'll give it a go. I want the raptor saddle that we got at least. So. Honestly, I could have ended this recording a while ago, but... I don't <laughs> this is so much fun i just i just don't want to i don't want to stop playing and like just wandering about oh what were they just wandering about on claude is is awesome it's just fun it's just fun we got we got some oil there and we got some of the uh silica pearls and a level up i don't know i really would like i mean i'd like more weight and stamina as well but i think health is the main thing if i'm going to use this as like a combat one if we're taking claude into the cave it makes sense to have that i think what we do is is when we go in we we take claude we'll we'll take steve um we'll maybe try and get anything else like small that can fight yeah but yeah when we get in the cave i want to bring in like be nice to have like a pack of raptors or something so if we see a raptor with um with kids and stuff the bro I just there's there was that many of them like of the centipedes and the scorpions and the spiders at the very end of the cave that uh, someone isn't surviving that trip in someone isn't surviving it Listen, let's not depress ourselves thinking about going back in that cave. We were having too much fun on Claude anyway. But being cautious that things can take a turn for the worse at any moment, we headed to the storage box. You can uh, you can always have too much of a good thing. So <laughs> I don't want to stay out until there's a tragedy. <laughs> and then uh, everybody's miserable. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll take what we can from this and then we're going to head back. Um, so, definitely take that, uh, 
stego. We don't have a... I don't know what a stego is. Um, yeah, these are all just so heavy, man. Uh, well, well... We'll leave it there, all of that, for now. It is basically just the raptor thing that I'm wanting. More than anything. The, we, we, we don't have a plan to build too much more there. So, we'll leave that for now, eh? With the raptor saddle secured, we headed home. Well, that's what we should have done. But we took a zigzagging path on the way as I was enjoying my mini massacre of small creatures atop of Claude. Oh! Bugs and Dilfs! Yes! Oh god, there's loads of them. What the hell is that thing? A chant here. Did I kill it? It turned out, though, that there was a lot more than ankle-biting mini dinos here. Oh, snakes! Snakes, 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 snakes! Oh, shit! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to go in the water. I don't want to go in the water. Just run this way. Run this way. Bug! Yes! Are they dead? Are they dead? They're dead. I killed the snakes! Oh. oh, look at all that meat that's gonna go rotting by the time I get home. Yo, the, yeah, this is the mangrovey swampy area, isn't it? Save the game. <laughs> Let's go! That was like three levels in 30 seconds. Jazz hands! Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All good things must come to an end. Insatiated with the double kill of those cold-blooded reptiles, we headed back home and called it a day. I, um... Oh, I don't... I want to go back to the cave next time. But I'm so scared to. But I'm feeling that with Claude and Steve, maybe, we could do some damage in there. Potentially. I don't know. But listen, troops, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you. Yes, you. Please, please come back in the next one. Take it easy.